Hey guys, Kim Jong Spoon here, and we're going to do a little quick video today about how to deal with tank destroyers. So, there's a new line of American tank destroyers added just recently. However, this is a patch 1.6.1 replay, so um, those TDs were not in the game. I'm in my Panzer 3A, and uh, I do run into some TDs in this game, so that's why I'm showing you this replay. But uh, with these new TDs, they are turreted. However, most of them, for example, the M8A1, can only turn its turret. 90 degrees to the right and 90 degrees to the left, so these tactics can still be used. So, again, Panzer 3A, Fort Despair, Tier 3 game, and they have two T-18s and a T-82. So this M2 medium here is AFK, so we're going to farm some damage, but he is spotting any of my team who tries to come around and flank. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use that bar at the bottom right of my screen, to aim at him but look in other places. So I'm aiming, looking for an engine shot, and I'm look, turning this bar right here. So I'm looking around to see where the enemy is. I'm still aiming at the sky so I can put shots at him. So we finish him off, and my next target's gonna be that LTP. It was nerfed, I think, in patch 1.6, but it's still pretty dangerous, 2 3. Light tanks, so we're gonna go get him. And looks like he sees us, but it doesn't matter. Boom, giant ram. And that's why I put a spall liner on my Panzer 3A. It's also why I have an atrocious survival ram at Panzer 3A, but that doesn't matter. It's just too much fun. So now we see this T-18. And again, this is a tank destroyer. It's a casement-mounted gun, so it cannot turn its turret. It doesn't have one. Now we're behind him, um, and we're going to push him up against this wall so he can't turn. Just put shells into him. Finish him off right there. Okay. Now we're going to ignore that cruiser because our teammate should be able to handle him. We see that T-82, dangerous tier 3. I don't know what gun he's using. If he's using the 105 mil howitzer, he can one-shot any tier 3 tank in the game. So, we want to take him out of play. And also, because I'm in a fast light tank, it should be pretty easy. So usually I would just ram this guy, but I do want to secure this game. He fires HE. He is using the 105. But luckily, our first shot took his tracks off. So now we're just going to circle of death or COD this guy. Pushing up against his side, and he cannot turn his tank fast enough to get us. And even if he could, we were up against him, so he couldn't turn his tank. Of course, if you're fire, if you're uh, up against glass cannon light TDs like that Panzer Jager 1, and you're in a fast light tank, you can just ram him to death like that, which is why I have my Panzer 3A. But anyways... Now we're going to look at one of the Comet games you guys saw in the Comet Double Dose uh, video. And this, I was going for that uh, Panzer, Jag Panzer Fear, but uh, this Jag Panther popped up. So we're going to take care of both of these guys with the fast medium tank, the Comet. I'm trying to get around this guy, but uh, this, I underestimate his traverse. And so this guy doesn't rotate fast enough so I can get around him. And I'm not entirely sure what that Jag Panther for is for. Using. Looks like one of the L, uh, so the L70 75 millimeter gun, but he bounced what four shots off my rear. He does eventually get one into my upper plate, but we finish both of them off, securing the game actually. So thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, you can throw a like down at the bottom, and if you want to see more cool tank replays or tank videos, you can subscribe to our channel. Um, and actually, I'm going to leave you guys with this Cruiser Mark IV replay. I just recently bought this tank um, after free exiting my way to tier 5 in the British medium line and it turns out uh, that I missed out because this thing is a little beast. So I'll leave you guys with this replay. Thanks.
Hold this. 